Okay, so today we're going to go over using a wire brush or wire cut brush for your angle grinder. Uh, these are remarkable little tools that will remove any sort of rust or paint buildup that you have on any pieces that you're trying to finish or maybe just some scrap you've had laying around outside and you need to get the rust off of. Uh, these will get things, the metal down to pretty much looking brand new and you can just clear it. Use clear coat and you'll have a beautiful finished product. These usually cost around anywhere from $15 to $20. You can get them at any hardware store, a Lowe's, a Home Depot, any place like that is going to carry these. Um, usually I say just go with the cheapest one. Uh, the quality on these is pretty much universal. Uh, for anything that you're doing inside of a metal shop, I would just say buy the cheapest one because it, there's no need in spending $30 on this when a $15 one will do. Uh, you can use these for, like I said, uh, removing rust and paint, but you can also use these to have a very nice effect on sheet metal. It'll do a nice spiral effect. It's very cool. Uh, it's something we'll go into a little bit later. So, we're going to take off our other wheel. And sometimes these might get so tight that you actually need to use the tool. I usually don't need to use the tool. We're going to leave the back plate on. And this is just going to turn on. Make sure it's good and tight. It's not going to come off on you. As long as you have it tight, it's not going to come off. Now I have, I'm using the finial here because this finial I've had laying around and it's very rusty. And the things that the, the wire wheels are great for is removing any kind of rust or pits on here and also any kind of paint. If you have some old nasty paint that you need to get off, instead of using nasty paint removers and like acid stuff, you can just use a wire wheel and get 90% of it off. And the other 90% usually you can just cover with your primer or whatever it is that you're going to put back on there. Of course, unless you need to clear coat something and then you need to take the time to really get it all off. But here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go, go over it. You don't need to push down very hard. You can go over it very light. Uh, the main thing with this is you want to make sure you have a good grip on it because this can pop. It'll get, you can get snagged, especially on things with, with uh, areas like this that stick out, like this finial. You can get caught in there and it'll pop up. And if this gets caught on your clothing, of course, you know, it can get you. Uh, but now that I've scared you, let's go ahead and get started. All right, now you can see how quick that was. And I actually spent a little extra time on it just going on the sides. Uh, the nice thing about these is they'll actually, if you have some edges sharper edges it'll actually soften some of these edges up uh, which is really really nice it's just so you don't have to go back with your your flat disc or your your sand sanding disc and go over this and risk grinding too much off uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, finish this up real quick and you'll get to see what the finished product looks like <laughs> And that took us, what, uh, 10 seconds to do? This is the clean side. This is the not clean side. So you can see it really makes a difference. 